Have you ever encountered a problem where they give you a sequence of numbers and then ask you what could be the sum of this sequence? Or they ask you what could be the 15th or 16th term in this sequence? So in this video, we are going to look at some formulas that will allow us to solve these kinds of problems. So there are basically two types of series or sequence. One is arithmetic progression and another is geometric progression. An arithmetic progression is a series where, where any two successive terms have a common difference. And a geometric progression is a series where successive terms have a common ratio. Now in an arithmetic progression if you see any two successive terms, take any two successive terms, let's take 4 and 6, they have a difference between them. The difference is 2. Or if we take 6 and 8, the difference is again 2. Or if we take 8 and 10, again the difference is 2. So elements in an arithmetic progression have a common difference. And in case of geometric progression, take any two successive numbers or successive terms, divide them, you get a ratio of that. So they have a common ratio. In this case, the ratio is 2. Let's take 8 and 16, the successive terms, again the ratio is 2. So in a geometric progression, successive terms have a common ratio and in an arithmetic progression, successive terms have a common difference. So let's first take a look at arithmetic progression and let's look at what formulas are there for us in arithmetic progression. So any progression or any series you have there is a first term and there is a last term. The first term is called A and the last term may be called as the nth term. Come back to arithmetic progression. The first term in this example is 1. So our A is equal to 1 and the difference between two terms, two successive terms here is D. So the D here is 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. 5 minus 3 is 2 again. 7 minus 5 is again 2. So any two successive terms have a difference of 2. So if you have to calculate the value of nth term, the formula is a plus n minus 1 d. So let's say if you have to calculate what could be the value of sixth term. There are five terms in this sequence. So what could be the value of sixth term? then you can use this formula. Put 6 in place of n and respective values in place of the variables. In, in this case, a's value would be 1 and d would be 2 and you would get the sixth term. If you want the sum of series, sum of n terms which are in an arithmetic progression, the formula is n divided by 2 whole multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1 d. So, you have to buy hard these formulas in order to solve problems based on arithmetic progression. With this, let's solve this question. You see that these numbers are in a arithmetic progression because there is a difference of 1 between every two successive numbers. So here the d is equal to 1 and a, the first term, is 51. So what is asked is the sum of all these terms. So firstly, you would need how many numbers are there, the total terms. Then you can easily calculate the sum of series. Firstly, you will have to calculate how many terms are there in this series. So for that, you need to make use of this first formula. The nth term is equal to a plus n minus 1d. So nth term would be the last term here. 100 is the last term, 100 is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So 100 is equal to, what is a? a's value is 51, it is the first term, 51 plus n we have to find out minus 1 into d, d is again 1. So 100 is equal to 51 plus n, this one is gets multiplied by n, one gets multiplied by minus 1, so minus 1. So 51 minus 1 is 50, so 100 equals to 50 
plus n. Therefore, n is equal to 50. So there are in all 50 terms. Now we have to calculate the sum. So there is a formula for calculating the sum of n terms, which is this. So sum equals to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 d. So n we've got 50 by 2 into 2 into a that is 51 plus n minus 1 n minus 1 n is 50 so n minus 1 would be 49 into the difference difference is 1 so 50 by 2 is 25 into 51 into 2 is 2 into 1 is 2 2 5 is a 10 1 0 2 plus 49 so 25 into 102 plus 49 would be 9 plus 2 is 11 1 is carry 4 plus 10 is 14 so 151 so we have to calculate what is 25 into 151 so 25 into 151 let's do it here 25 into 151 is 5 and the 5, 5 is a 25, 2 is carry, 5 and the 5, plus 2 is 7, 2 and the 2, 2 5 is a 10, 1 carry, 2 and the 2, plus 1 is 3, so 5, 5 plus 2, 7, 7, so 3, 7, 7, 5 is the sum of this series, so our answer is option number D. Now let's solve one more question. What is the sum of first 45 natural numbers? So let me give you a hint here first. First 45 natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4. Natural numbers start from 1 and so on till 45. So they have asked you the sum of first 45 natural numbers. So that this would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus until you get to 45. So this again is an arithmetic progression. Put values into the formulas and take out the answer. So in this question n is 45. We know the value of n. It is already told to us what is the value, what is the sum of first 45 natural numbers. So n is equal to 45. Now we have to calculate sum. We know the formula which is n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. So let's put the values into this formula 45 by 2 into here a is 1, d is 1 because the difference between two successive natural numbers is 1. So 2 into a, so 2 into 1 is 2 plus what is n? n is 45. 45 minus 1 is 44 into d is 1. So 45 by 2 into 2 plus 44. That gives us 45 by 2. 2 plus 44 is 46. Now we can cancel out values from here. 46 divided by 2. So 2, 2 is a 4, 2, 3 is a 6. So our answer is 45 into 23. So let's multiply this in a better way. So 45 into 20 plus 3. Now this gives us 45 into 20. So 45 double is 90. And this 0 comes here. So 900 plus 45 into 3. So 3, 5 is a 15. 1 is carry. 3 for the 12 plus 1 is 13. So 900 plus 135. So the answer is 1035. The correct option is A. 1035.